A short time ago, I spoke to Thomas Pickering. He's a former U.S. ambassador to the U.N. I asked him how effective the new proposal against Syria would be. But I think this one is a little more advanced, and it refers to the Arab League efforts, which have been essentially uh, to try to find a way to move Bashar out while at the same time supporting the negotiations. The that former Secretary General. No, it didn't work either. But these are all part of what I would call the diplomatic buildup. And I think it's very important that the Security Council should unreservedly support Kofi Annan at the present time. All right. A build up to what? What are the further steps that the uh, statement said might be taken? What they're looking at, obviously, and what uh, Secretary, former Secretary General Annan has put front and center is basically a cessation of fighting, an effort to create zones at some point, and the beginnings of governmental change. And these are all obviously very delicate. They're very hard. And Bashar has resisted up until now any of those things. But now for the first time, his so-called 30-day ultimatum from the Russians has passed. The Russians have joined with the Arab League. China has joined. And so, in a sense, it's a multiplication of diplomatic pressure so on Russia Bashar. So Russia and China's positions are changing? Could you, could you see a, a situation in which they might support a resolution or some kind of real I could, ultimatum? I could see the situation, Sammy, in which they might eventually support a resolution which takes the words of the presidential statement that was made yesterday and turns them into a resolution.